Thank you. I've enjoyed working with you. Tom, we've had a, a, a special relationship because the governor was throwing things at us so fast it took two guys to catch for it. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and <laughs> we, we were getting together once a week just to defend ourselves, but uh, <laughs> it's been a wonderful experience. And I thank you, Tom, for the relationship that we've had. That's not a common situation, and uh, it was particularly important at this time because uh, there's more reform in this budget than there's been in any budget since John Bricker was governor, and that's a while back. I was not in the House then, <laughs> I'll make that clear. But he was a friend of mine. Uh, at the end of the day, what we're looking at is a monumental stretch by a state government to respond to the challenges that it faced. It was a real thrill for me the other morning while I was shaving to hear on Squawk Box that Ohio had moved up and passed 11 states in terms of the ability that it has to meet the challenges of job creation and employment in the future. Just think of that, 11 states. And it's key to our future that people like that are saying those things because that's how businesses come here. They don't, uh, they don't uh, rely on our Department of Development. What the Department of Development has to do is make sure that they've got what they need when they get a hold of us. But what attracts their attention in the first case is the fact that nationally, nationally, we are now looked on as a state that is a leader in terms of adapting and adopting a new way forward. That's crucial. Some of the things are, are, are in part symptomatic, I think particularly Invest Ohio is, that shows people that we understand the need for investment. And uh, some states have understood that for quite a while. The great state of Texas, for example, absolutely understands that. But there are other states that have fallen behind, as we were doing. Other states have gone through, New York, California. These are states that at one time dominated the capital markets, and today they're running in place to catch up. We are not in that position. We have an opportunity now for our young people, for some of those Ohioans who have left Ohio, to provide an attractive situation for business, industry. We have the academic base for it in our universities, and now we are in a position to take advantage of it. And this governor was willing to do what had to be done in terms of criticism, in terms of people saying, well, you can't accomplish that, you can't do that. I've heard that for a long time. I came here in 67. And this governor was unafraid. He knew what he wanted to accomplish for the people of Ohio. And this is one gigantic first step with all of the programs that are contained herein. It's, it's remarkable. It really is. Every so often, the three of us look at each other and say, can you believe this? But that's because of our caucuses. In my case, I'm very fortunate. I have a, a finance chairman, as, as Tom does, who uh, just is very outstanding. He's been here since 1980. Uh, he has insight. Uh, he understands what can be done and what can't. And he's provided real leadership to young people because with term limits, you start out on the, on the finance committee with people that haven't done it before. Maybe they did it as county commissioners or, or as city council, but, but we have those kind of people there that are anxious to do what has to be done. And Ron Amstutz has, has given us real leadership. The vice chairman has served as chairman of both the House Finance Committee and the Senate Finance Committee. So I'm just blessed to have people like that in the caucus. And these young people that came here for the first time in this last election, <clears throat> they weren't here to do political stuff. They were here to do what had to be done for the people of the state of Ohio. What a blessing and an opportunity for me because I've kind of looked forward to being speaker. I didn't know it would be uh, during the middle of a depression and uh, what else was going on around here. And uh, we, with those young people's support, we have done what had to be done. But that would not have been possible without John Kasich's leadership.